Last week, we learned that Moses had some struggles and had made some mistakes, but that didn't stop God from using him. After Moses left the burning bush, he took his brother, marched up to Pharaoh, and said, God says, let my people go. See, the Hebrew people had spent years being treated poorly by the Egyptians, and God heard their cries for things to be made right. So he sent a hero and some crazy things called plagues to make a way to set the people free. You know, you're a good goat, Sheldon. I don't know why Moses is always telling me how bad you are. <coughs> uh, oh, sorry, sorry. I meant, I meant sheep. You're a sheep, I know. Uh, uh, Aaron, where, where are you? I'm, I'm over here watching Sheldon. You know, he isn't as bad as you say he is. You don't know him like I do. Any, anyway, listen. God has spoke to me. He, he, he's asked me to lead, lead the Israelites out of Egypt. <laughs> God spoke to you? Come on, bro, really? No, seriously. He, he appeared to me in a burning bush. A burning bush? Come on, Moses. I'm a grown man. I wasn't born yesterday. Moses. <laughs> Aaron. Yeah, r r real manly. Moses, Aaron, you must go to Pharaoh and tell him that the Lord said to let my people go, for they will have a party in my honor in the wilderness. <clears throat> um, you hear that voice too, right? Where's it coming from? I don't see any burning bushes around here. <clears throat> Up here, Aaron, in the sky. Oh, uh, hey there. I, I didn't see you there. Aaron, please go with Moses and help him lead the Israelites out of Egypt. Remember, I am always with you, and I will show you the way. N now, Aaron, uh, I need you to speak for me, because, you know, I'm, I'm not very good at speaking. Of course. I, I will help you, but, but only on one condition. Uh, w w what's that? You have to let me keep Sheldon with me after. I want him. You want Sh Sh Sheldon? <laughs> Done. He's your yours. All right, then. Let's go. Bring me more grapes, servant. The green ones. I absolutely hate the red ones. Ugh. Pharaoh? K -k 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 King of Egypt. Is I uh, Moses and Aaron... We're here. Oh, uh, Moses, let me let me help you out here. King of Egypt. <clears throat> King of Egypt. We are here on behalf of the Lord. He has commanded you to let the Israelites leave Egypt and come with us into the wilderness. All right. Who let these crazy people in here? Let the Israelites go? Ha <laughs> ha. Guards, you can show our little guest the door. No. You, you you will let the people go. The Lord of God of Israel has commanded you. Is that so? And who is the the Lord? And why should I? I mean, the king of Egypt. Listen to him. I don't even know him. So I would not let them go. How about you just uh, skedaddle? <clears throat> but but if you don't let them go, the, the, the Lord will send, send... Speak up. If the Lord is with you and commanded you, why can't you speak? I'm here to speak for him. It is true. The Lord will send plagues here in Egypt if you do not let the Israelites go. Yeah, I'm sure he will. Now leave, get. Now stop distracting the people of Israel. Get back to work. Pharaoh, you must listen to our God. You don't want these plagues to happen. Trust me. Like I said before, please, just leave, all right? All right. F -f Pharaoh, you have brought this on yourself. S -s 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 Since you did not listen, may the plagues begin to ha happen. First, there will be a plague of blood. The, ri the, the ri ri river will be turned into blood. L last chance, Pharaoh. Let the people of the Lord go. I will never let them go. Never! They will stay here forever! Then, then, then let the rest of the plagues begin. 
There will be f, -f, -f flies Hail. And then now you should have boils all over your skin. Oh no! Leave! Get out of here! Take your Israelites and go! We told you to listen, but you didn't. And this is how it had to be. We will take the Israelites with us into the wilderness. Sheldon, let's get out of here, buddy. Even when we don't think things make sense, even when we don't think we have what it takes, the Word says in Romans 8.28 that all things work together for good if we love God. If God can use all of Moses' weaknesses and all of the scary circumstances happening in Egypt to do miracles and bring victory to His people then, He can do it now and He can do it through you because God never changes. The same God that worked through Moses can work through you. Do you want to be a superhero for Jesus? Micah 6.8 gives us three tips to become superheroes for the Lord. First, act justly. That means to do what is right and help others do what's right. Second, love mercy. Loving mercy means you don't seek revenge or hold on to anger and bitterness. Last, walk humbly. To walk humbly means that we don't depend on our abilities, but God's. Do those three things and you'll become a miracle working hero, just like Moses. Make sure that you have a parent or guardian help you go online and find all of the activities and videos we have to go along with today's lesson. Bye.